Now we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to create this rainbow cutout effect. I don't know if there's a specific name for this, but you could use any shape. I've used the waveform to create the cutout and then add the rainbow effect to it. Let me first use the scale tool here, shift S and then I hold control and I size it up. I want to cut part of it out and by the way you can just type in waveform into a Google image search, something like this and you'll find dozens of examples or hundreds to use. Now use the select tool and I'm gonna have this part starting from here up to there. It has to be bigger than my canvas on top and bottom. Then I go to select invert. I'm on my waveform layer. Let me copy it so that we have the original backup. I'm on the copy layer and I press my delete key and shift control A to deselect. But let me size it up a little bit more, so shift S, I hold control when I drag it up. And then I confirm via scale. Let me put it somewhat in center. Next step is to use a model image. Once again I use the scale tool. Let me go down with the opacity so that we can see the waveform in the background and I reposition it and I scale it down a little bit further. But be careful on top and bottom. You want your entire waveform or the shape that you use to be covered. So if I have it like this at the bottom, there would be black stripes, we don't want that. So the model needs to be a little bit bigger or at least as big as the waveform on top and bottom. But that should be enough for our example. I'll increase the opacity again, then I put it below the waveform. I select the waveform and set its blending mode to screen. So it's going to blend it in. But now we want to get rid of the sides, so switch back to your model layer and use the select tool. You want to cover the white areas on left and right and on top and bottom it needs to be bigger than your canvas. As I've said, activate the model layer, then select, invert, press the delete key once again. Shift Ctrl A to deselect. So we're almost there. Final step is to add this rainbow color effect, create a new layer. Make sure it's transparent. Then use the gradient tool. I've used the preset right here. So just scroll up and down until you find it. Shape is linear. Drag it from left to right holding control. You can change the color here but just keep the defaults and set the blending mode to HSV hue or HSV color. And then reposition start and end point like so. Hold control when you drag it. And you can play around with the opacity here as well if you want to have a softer rainbow effect. And this is already it. So as I've said, you can use any shape that you want and this process will still work. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.